Hi there, Sagittarius. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 26th of February. The sun, of course, is now relocated into the feeling sign for you of Pisces, where it's joined up with Mercury and also Venus and Neptune. Now, of course, last week, Venus and Neptune were in that very uh, beguiling, gentle conjunction. Now, Venus has moved on, but it's this week that the sun goes into the conjunction with Neptune. This is going to see you much more attuned to the more emotional dimension of your situation. So, family affairs, where you live, how you live there, and your sense of comfort in your environment are going to be really heightened. If you're someone who's very perceptive, this is going to be even more clear when your psychic antenna will really be extended. But in the first half of this week, the Sun's forging a very constructive link with Saturn still. Now this runs on from last week, and Saturn's in your sector of resources. So if you are trying to get uh, your family or domestic uh, financial situation really much more tied down, clear, and well-structured, this is a very good time to do so. Yet Mars, in your sign, is a much more of a free radical influence. It's about you wanting to do what's good for you as an individual and not be so focused on the touchy-feely stuff and how other people feel. But that's clashing with Mercury this week. And this right angle is potentially going to see you a bit more impatient with anyone around you who doesn't tune into you in the way that you're really, really feeling. Or perhaps you're going to be a bit more impatient at times. But as this week draws to a close on Saturday, there is a full moon, and this occurs in the sign of Virgo. So your feelings are going to be very close to the surface. One of the things about being a Sagittarius is that you're always looking forward to the next bigger and brighter venture. This comes from the happy-go-lucky influence of your ruler Jupiter. But in this situation, you're really being asked to balance the part of you that wants to be successful and exist in the wider world with the foundations that you have at the base of your world. So, for example, if you're in a job which doesn't make you feel very comfortable or you don't like the people you work with or the atmosphere, that's really going to be an important consideration over the next couple of weeks. Then again, it's possible that you don't have a job that you dislike but it doesn't work for you in terms of your home or family life. So if that was the case, you may be thinking of perhaps changing your hours, being more flexible, doing something that is part-time in some way. But balancing these two principles is going to come under a bit of strain due to the role of Neptune, which is going to potentially distort your reality and everyone else's, quite frankly. So if there are discussions or you're thinking about how things work at the basis uh, for your situation and anything to do with security, whether it's physical or emotional, it's best not to jump to any early conclusions on the back of this week's influences. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. I'd love it if you would like, comment, or if you've yet to do so, subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. If you'd like to know more, please visit my website at www.patrickarundel.com or download my free app in iOS, Google or Facebook at www.horoscope-ace.com. Thanks and goodbye.